When I had my accident, I found out at that moment, nothing in life is promised except death. If you had the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? I know that the ones who love us will miss us. I want you to just imagine right now we're going to the graveyard for a minute. You go to the graveyard and you see on the tombstone the person's name, when they were born, a dash, and when they died. Don't you think it's interesting that your whole life, from the time you're born till you die, comes down to a dash? So here's what I want to ask you, what are you doing with your dash? Because that's about how fast you're going to feel like it went by when you get to be about 75 or 80. You're going to go, I can't believe that it's all gone. Don't get to that point in life and have nothing but regrets. If I could take everything that was good and put it into a bowl or something and say, hey, here, I'd like to buy one more day with my wife, I'd do it. I would die a happy man. Right then. Not gonna happen. So, everything I got is moved on, and I'm here. I'm not afraid of dying. I'm afraid I haven't been alive enough. It should be written on every schoolroom blackboard. Life is a playground or nothing. Life is to be lived, lived before you die. Don't waste a second of this precious gift. You're here for a reason. Never stop asking why. I always felt like I could do anything. That's the main thing people are controlled by. Thoughts, their perception of themselves. They're slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. Mm. I was taught I could do everything. <laughs> and I'm Kanye West at age 36. <laughs> the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Life is not meant to be so serious. Make time for fun, for joy, for play. I hope that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are pleasing in God's sight, but they're, I'm human. I'm just like you, you know? What I have will not keep me on this earth for one more day. I never looked at things as problems. I look at them as opportunities. Create a life that feels good on the inside, not just one that looks good on the outside. Circumstances will never define you unless you decide to let them. What is death? Is it the end? Or is it the beginning? And what is life? What is this thing we call life? So what are you fighting for? Life. I think life is precious because you can't watch it again. Once you realize you're not going to be around forever, I think that's what makes life so magical but we all die they're so busy some people are so busy out making money that by the time they are ready to die all they're going to have is a bank account can i tell you when you're on your deathbed you're not going to ask to see your bank balance you're going to want your family and so now is the time to be spending time with them and not be doing so many foolish things that you don't even have time to do the things that are really important what everything changes the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. You don't like the way your life is going. You're the only one that can change it. Moments you realize your entire life's work is absurd, and you have nothing to show for it. We all make choices in life. The hard thing is to live with them. And there ain't nobody can help you with that. At some point, 
everything's going to go south on you. Everything's going to go south and you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just begin. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not even about us. It's about legacy. It's about what we choose to leave behind. To find real peace, you have to let the armor go. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. That we will carry a piece of each other into everything that we do next. To remind us of who we are. And of who we're meant to be. Life's too short to waste a second. Life goes by so fast. None of us knows how long we have left. None of us. Every hour that we use is one we will never get back. So we don't want to waste them. We want to use them wisely. Time is just too valuable to waste. Make your choice to be on Jesus' side. It's the best choice you can ever make is to follow Jesus. We'll never be happy without Jesus. He's our maker. He's our savior. He's the truth. And it's through following him that we will find the real purpose and the meaning of life. You won't be happy if you're being someone else, trying to fit in with others. Be yourself and do it with pride. Genuine happiness will never come to you if you are changing who you are to please other people. You cannot be genuinely happy if you are not genuinely you. Be comfortable being you around everyone and anyone. All the wrong people will leave you and that's okay because the right people will stay. The right people as in those who love the real you exactly as you are. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Life is not primarily about making money. It's not primarily about having a nice home. It's not primarily about having a retirement account. It's not primarily about, you know, any of these things. What is most important is your relationship with the Lord and using what you have to serve him and to help other people. The people in your life are more important than your money. We just get caught up in the wheel of progress. Everybody thinks they just got to get on that wheel. But you know what? We're in the world and not of it. And I really have come to the conclusion that God's intention for us is to spend most of our time here getting ready for there. We should be spending more of our time here getting ready for there because there is going to come before you know it. And then we're going to stand in the presence of God and give an account of our lives. If you're not right with God, now is the time. Make wise choices about how to use your time. We only get one life. What are you going to do with your dash? It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. We don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living well and living fully. For the reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we're born 
and the time he shows up. Hey my village fans, thanks for subscribing to my channel, thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please hit the subscription button below and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Welcome to the LFH family. Keep on spreading my channel. Keep on spreading love. Whenever you need a motivation or to be inspired, this is the channel for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.